Okay, I'm going to make a video just to show how I fit the uh, chines in at the stem here. Um, I've done the first side, and uh, as you can see, the second one's still stuck out. So I'm going to show. Um, I'm just going to show the process on um, how I cut that so that it fits flush up against the stem. Alright, so the first thing I do is pull it in as close as I can, so it's touching down the front here, and then just get a clamp on it and hold it somewhere in place, pretty close. The first few cuts are going to be just roughly in the right position. So then I get a tenon saw, and I just cut down the inside, trying to keep this inside edge of the blade parallel to the stem. Once it gets a little bit tight because it will be pinching the blade you can just release it off a bit and then follow the cut line down. So you can see the angle that that's given, it's now parallel to the stem, so as you clamp it in a bit, you can see that's heading in the right direction. So now I'm just going to repeat that process and keep taking off a little bit at a time until we start to come in enough. So I've done a couple more cuts and brought it in now so it's just past the front of the stem. Um, but as you can see it needs to come back quite a long way um, to make it all line up. And the way I work out um, whether it's back in far enough is just by cutting a little slot here with the tenon saw. Um, this black line here is the centre of my stem. Um, so I just run a tenon saw through the stem like that until it comes flush with the chine along the length of the blade. Like that, and you can see that when that meets up with your line in the middle, that means that your stem <coughs> It's going to line up with the chine once you've fared it all down because eventually it's going to look like this all the way up so uh, that means that that one's in the right place and uh, this one's got to go back a bit further yet so if, you, if I cut the line So you can see it only goes as far as there at the moment so I need to keep moving it in until this line goes right to the middle and then we'll be in the right place. So I've finished making all the cuts and adjustments on the second one. Uh, I've got it screwed into place now and I marked the lines round with a square from the first one so they're both at exactly the same height. Um, I'll just show you the piece of paper what I was saying about the saw cuts um, if you put that in the cut there and line it up with the chine you can see that it comes to the middle of the stem so that's once you've shaped all the stem your line is going to end up right in the middle and your chine will be in the right place 
and uh, it's the same with this one. So that shows you that your line's right and you know it's in the correct place.